Hello, it is Christine. I have a really interesting video to share with you guys. It has been quite long since last time. I admit that I haven't been so creative regarding video ideas. <laughs> but I found a video topic that might interest people. It is it is fashion related. I normally don't do that. It's not my topic within my channel. But today we are going to talk about something really interesting within goth fashion. The band t-shirt. The holy grail of goth fashion. The most obvious of them all. Like, I drown myself in band t-shirts. But my collection is still not that big. Uh, I still have two uh, band t-shirts that are in the post currently. They haven't arrived yet. So yeah, they will not be included in this video. Obviously. I also have a policy of only owning one band t-shirt of each band due to my personal environmental philosophy and uh, beliefs. But still, I do own few band t-shirts and I'm quite consistent with that. I'm happy. But I still have a little bit story time for each band of shirt, so I'm gonna share them with you people. Okay, when did this band t-shirt craze of mine begin? <laughs> well, it's obvious, most of my goth friends are elder goths with band t-shirt craze <laughs> too. So it's obviously I get affected by that. Sure, yeah, but the biggest thing was when I got my first band t-shirts. It happened in the Amphi Festival. I was walking and suddenly found uh, some interesting t-shirts and yeah, I got them. <laughs> it was when I met uh, Hans Production and they had several t-shirts that I wanted. So yeah, the first one is obviously the Hans label shirt. Really interesting. I also want the Hans says noise shirt. That one, but uh, not possible at the moment. But I will have it in the future. The next one is by... Monolith. I own many um, Monolith albums on Bandcamp. Not the newest ones, but uh, they are in my wish list. <laughs> the next shirt is a really interesting one, which is the Gaze Form. Gaze Form is one of my favorite noise bands, and this shirt. I used it so many times and I still love it. But the thing is, I had posted a photo of my shirt on Instagram and... Gosh! He contacted me through DMs and we talked a little bit and he was so kind and he sent me... <laughs> signed albums. I cannot help that. I. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Bands like that do not barely exist. He's like an angel. I. <laughs> I have um. Against the Gaze Farm logo as my background on my phone. <laughs> uh, 
I have used it for one year. And when the virus situation gets better, I hope that I will be able to see him live because <laughs> I really want to. <laughs> Like ten Tension is my favorite album. <sighs> Such a beautiful noise album. Okay, I cannot. I get softy when I when I talk about that. The next <laughs> next the band T-shirt is also an artist under Hans Production. 13th monkey this i ordered from the hand site i really love 13th monkey and kraken is one of my favorite songs <laughs> uh, they follow me on instagram too so i'm like <laughs> and uh, i most likely also own all of their songs and discography on Bandcamp. <laughs> so yeah, I was so happy when I found out that this does exist. So it's like, oh wow, I need it. And I did. And so I'm really happy for this shirt. <laughs> it's treasure. Okay, uh, the next band t-shirt I have shown four, so the fifth is uh, also more on the industrial side. Ha, job. <laughs> this I also had. Posted on Instagram, and um, I got a like from Daniel, Daniel himself. I really love her job, and I also like uh, arch architect, but I don't have the architect shirt yet. Mm. But this one is completely soft, and I really like it. The design is so cool. <laughs> okay, the next one is a goth band, London After Midnight. This shirt is quite long, but good otherwise. London After Midnight is one of the bands that I loved before I knew I was goth. And I dream about seeing London After Midnight live, so it's something I want to do before I die, obviously. <laughs> so, yeah, London After Midnight. Oh, God. I, I might end up crying if I uh, ever see. And I'm planning on wearing this on a concert when I see the band play. I just hope that I can get to the front row. <laughs> Sorry. I am a little bit fangirly, I get that like a little bit. <laughs> the next one is <clears throat> Another goth band, which is Wisborg becoming Kalikari. I usually prefer only the logo ones, but this one is like one of the few exceptions that I have, including the next one that I will show. But this one, it is a little bit small for medium. I actually wish that I bought a large, but it works. It's on the sleeves. So if you want a shirt like this, go maybe one size larger if possible. 
The next one, it is a noise pen. I have many noise pen um, <laughs> not albums but pen shirts. Actually albums too. <laughs> Why? This is a medium and it is the only long sleeve that I do have and I use this a lot. It is so comfy, I love it. I also ha have been like painting while using this, so there are like white spots of acrylic paint that will never go away, but I don't care. Uh, this is one of my favorite daily shirts because it's so soft for home use and long sleeves. I live in a place with cold weather, so. So it's good to have this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I do recommend checking out Collapse if you like really heavy noise music, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> mm. And uh, the final noise band t-shirt that I own is... <laughs> Micrometric. He's a friend of mine <laughs> and he is quite talented. I encourage him to make music. Um, yeah, I'm most likely one of his biggest fans. <laughs> yeah, when I received the package, yeah, that's the correct word <laughs> or sentence. He also gave me some stickers because he knows that I love band stickers. <laughs> So yeah, I am so excited to hear more of his music, and please check his music out on Bandcamp. I will put a link uh, into the description box for each of these bands, so you can see. Micrometric. Okay, um, there are three more shirts to talk about. This is the only punk band shirt that I own, which is a GBH Momentum. The thing with this is that I haven't worn this shirt. And this is something to do with my mother. Uh, she misunderstands this shirt a little bit. Because GBH sounds quite similar to a drug with similar letters. So when she sees this, she thinks about the drug and not uh, the band, punk band, which is quite annoying to me. I hate that when she does that. But the drug is not GBH, it is switch these letters and then you get a drug and my mom cannot see that uh, tiny little thing. I try to explain this but this is like really embarrassing for me <laughs> but hopefully I can wear this uh, when I one day move out or yeah. It's quite sad. I really liked the t-shirt and I bought this because I really liked how it looked like and I liked the band. So yeah. So the two shirts left is uh, not really a band t-shirt but more of a support shirt. But it's a merch shirt so it is the Interference Radio Broadcast the Future. I really, really love this shirt. I listen to the uh, interfering, Interference Radio and sometimes join them to on their communities. <laughs> so yeah, I also own a mug. I love the mug. 
I use it when I'm at work. So yeah, I really love, 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 love the people and in the community they are really nice and of course the hosts <laughs> too. <laughs> so yeah. I have worn this shirt once and hopefully I will be wearing it more. I don't know which Spanish shirt I will be wearing after this video. I have been wearing normal clothing just to uh, have on my band shirts once so I can make this video. So, yeah. The final shirt isn't an unofficial shirt. <laughs> it is a Cinema Strange shirt. I have been using this a lot. And this is like one of my favorite Cinema Strange photos too. I really love it. The thing is, <coughs> Cinema Strange does not have any band merch. <laughs> it breaks my golf heart because I love Cinema Strange. Everybody knows, knows that who follows me. They know I love Cinema Strange, so <laughs> Cinema Strange. <laughs> but I found this shirt thanks to Angela Benedict. She has one too. <laughs> she had linked one of uh, in one of her videos that she had this. And when I saw it, I was thinking like, I need that shirt because I knew how difficult it was to find good quality Cinema Strange merch. They are either non-existent or non-existent. <laughs> totally non-existent. So when I saw that this existed, I needed it. So this is like a bonus in the end. Cinema Strange. So yeah. So hopefully one day Cinem the, <laughs> the members of Cinema Strange will re make merch or make more music, hopefully. But that's just me hoping for a way impossible. <laughs> well, I have talked for a while now about my favorite band shirts. I love them. So hopefully see you in my next video. Bye.